What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, uh, before I get into this story, let me say this real fast. I appreciate everybody that after hearing the news of me losing my uh, grandfather this week, I appreciate all the kind words and condolences that you guys have been given and you're still pouring them in. I appreciate that. I just wanted to let you know there's so many comments. I can't keep up with them, but they're all appreciated just the same. Thank you. And let me get into this story. I did a story earlier today as the news broke early in the morning about a young lady that went missing last night out there in San Antonio, uh, Texas. She's a 17 year old woman. Supposedly she had left her house with a friend, an unidentified friend who's being questioned right now by police. At 1130, her body was found around 1, 130 in the morning. Today, she was found naked under a bridge and uh, had some, some signs of trauma. <sighs> the family speaking, they came out and they spoke publicly today for the media. And uh, as upsetting as this is, this is not the first time tragedy has befell this family. Within the last six months, they've lost another daughter. So, I mean, regardless of how this case turns out, this family is seriously hurting. And they're coming off of trying to recover from another loss with this compiled on top of it. You know, if anybody knows this family, you know, you guys uh, just rally around them and show them some support. A lot of this stuff is hard to deal with. Take a look. Our top story tonight, we've learned the identity of the 17-year-old girl who was found naked and dead in a ditch on the northeast side. Her body was found after 1 a.m. on Dell Oak Drive. Ken's 5 reporter Simone Simpson has been following this story and jo joins us live with what we're learning. Simone? That's right. I spoke with 17-year-old Caitlin Elizabeth Hernandez's family earlier this afternoon, right here where her body was found. Her family heartbroken, demanding answers about why she's gone. This is not right. And we want justice for whoever did this to my daughter. Anguish. <laughs> And sorrow can be felt throughout Del Oak. Caitlin's grandmother, sister, and mother gathered at the last location she was found, this ditch. So around 11, 11.30 last night, um, I had let my dog out and she bolted to the fence. A neighbor who wanted to be left anonymous gave her account of what she heard last night. I actually saw two uh, males standing next to the ditch, shining like a light down there. Um, after a couple seconds of that, I then heard uh, a female shout, hey, um, I want to say it was in the ditch. It echoed like it was in the ditch. Um, but then after that, it was kind of just quiet. According to SAPD, the 17-year-old girl, Caitlin Elizabeth Hernandez, left her house with a man from the neighborhood. Hours later, she never returned. A passerby saw a phone light up in the ditch nearby and gave it to police before taking off. As SAPD officers were searching in the ditch, they found a blue jacket. Shortly after, they found Caitlin naked and dead on arrival. We all kind of look out for each other. So, I mean, I don't think... It's a dangerous neighborhood. I just think that we always have to be on the lookout for things. Police tell us they have detained the man she was last seen with and questioned him. Now they are looking for a second individual as they continue working to find out what happened and how she ended up dead. SAPD tells us that this is an ongoing investigation and Caitlin's mother told us that not even six months ago, she lost another daughter who was 18. Reporting live from the Northeast side, Simone Simpson, Ken's Five. Yeah, guys, that's the uh, news so far of the tragedy that befell these, this family out there in San Antonio. You know, keep them in your prayers, y'all. I'm going to tell you something. I didn't know there was two people. They said they're looking for two suspects. Now they got supposedly well, got one guy in custody, and if they got one, they'll probably get the other. You know, say your person of interest, he didn't want to went and got her. So go figure. 
I mean, the only way I could see him getting out of this, and this is just speculation, is if they was getting robbed and he ran and left her. I don't know where she at. He don't want to tell. But that's highly unlikely. Lady came out, said she saw uh, some dudes looking at a flashlight under there. The lady had a flashlight, probably their phones. And uh, heard the girl say, hey. Or heard a woman say, hey. So on and so forth. And the outcome is what it is. Whether they have something to do with it or not. But uh, I want to show you something. Look at that thing. And they left out 1130 at night. How did she get under there? Seriously, I don't see nobody going up under there with no dude. You know what I mean? That looked like trolls be up under that thing they sitting on. And just think about it. The family was crying over top of the bridge where their daughter was under deceased hours ago. Sad, man. Lady said it's not right, and it's not right. It's not right for anybody that loses somebody in that manner. <sighs> Says she lost somebody, her another daughter, six months earlier. What's messing with that? I mean, how much can our heart take? Can, can any of their hearts take? I mean, for people to just go around here and just all of a sudden just start doing this to people like it's nothing. And I told you before, there's a war on women in this country, whether you want to admit it or not. And it ain't just black women. It's all type of women. You see them, them, them look like Hispanics or mixed folk. You know what I'm saying? Said her name was Hernandez. She said them that type of Latino. Shout out to Latinos. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, damn. Death, misery, suffering. It's all the same, no matter what color you are. And people need to get that through their head. A child is lost. Mother feel the same pain anybody else feel, regardless of the color, religion, nationality. Same thing. And it's a common occurrence. These people out here are not discriminatory when they attacking these women. And when they attacking anybody nowadays, it's just bedlam in America. 17 years old. And you have your way with her. And then walk off like nothing happened. Seriously, what kind of maniac or, or, or person? I mean, men don't do this. Real men don't do this. What type of person does this and sleeps at night? This girl was killed near her house. What if nobody found her? And she just, I mean, not to be graphic. Seriously, I mean, this could have been a mess. What if nobody found her? If it wasn't for that phone lighting up, that a bystander went by and seen it. Because I know it, it wasn't under the bridge. Because I'm like, how did he see it? Because there's no walkways on that thing. I think that he was walking and the phone was like not under the bridge. He saw it. And there were police already in the area looking around. And he said, hey, I see something. Because they probably asked him. That's the reason why he had his involvement in it. But they said, oh, he gave him the phone and then went on. He wasn't, you know what I mean, for, him, for that to happen. He had to be, you know, like they said, he was a bystander walking. He wasn't a part of the case. But I mean, geez, man. I mean, nobody's safe no more. Think about that. Babies, old people, women, hell, men. Nobody's safe. People are crying out. We don't feel safe. Got to have crazy gun laws in place where you can't protect yourself. And if you do get a gun and you ain't supposed to have it and use it for the right thing, self-defense, you still go to jail. Makes no sense. I'll take that risk. I would take that risk. Because I'm going to protect me and those that matter to me and those that don't, that need help. Seriously. I don't know what it is in me, but I'm, I'm a little bit different than a lot of people. I mind my business. I do. But I can't see a fellow human being drop out, drop dead in front of me or fall out and not render aid or not care about how that person feels. You know what I'm saying? We human beings. We're supposed to be put on the planet to be fruitful and multiply. A lot of people think the multiply is just to reproduce. But it's also, you know. To. Uh spread information and things like that, in my opinion, you know, I'm not religious, but I think, you know, multiplying is giving knowledge, each one, teach one and stuff like that, you know, with the fruitfulness. Man, I mean, what are we spreading right now? What type of, 
I mean, this is a viral contagion and it's hitting everybody. And a lot of people don't look like they got the symptoms. I mean, the devil can be you next door in your own damn house. Just waiting for opportunity. To present itself. Put him to pounce. This guy was supposedly a friend. Maybe later on we'll find out what the motive was. But for now, stay tuned. May this young lady, uh, Caitlin Elizabeth Hernandez, rest in peace. And her family, see if they can get over it. That's the big thing about why I did this video, man. That's hard to deal with. You're still processing the loss of one child, and here come another one gone. And the way this one was gone, I don't, I don't know the background with the other. Damn. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel, man. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. You in the neighborhood that watch this and know these people, man. Y'all rally around them, man. For real, because they're going to need it. That mom was spent. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.